Hey guys, it's Lisi, and today I'm going to be switching from 14 gauge surgical steel tunnels to 14 gauge glass plugs. Once again, I'm filming on my phone because that's just easier for me. First, I'm going to sterilize these plugs because it literally got here less than an hour ago. The plugs have like this clear o-ring and I have black o-rings on the back of these that are 12 gauge but they're on my 14 gauge tunnels because that was much easier for me to get on and they don't slip off that easily. They slipped off a few times but it wasn't that big of a deal so I might be using the black o-rings on these two. So next I'm going to take these out and then clean and massage my ears because that is important. Here's the ear care solution that I'm using so I'll link that in the description. I also am going to be using vitamin E oil that I got from the store but I couldn't find it online so sorry about that but you can pretty much find vitamin E oil or jojoba oil anywhere. I'm also going to be linking the 14 gauge glass plugs in the description. I can definitely tell a difference with them now that I've taken them out after having them in for a week. These holes are definitely bigger than a 20 gauge, like man, I can't wait till I get to like a 12 gauge or a 10 gauge, that's probably when you can start seeing through them because like honestly, I wouldn't doubt you could see through it right now. So I'm going to massage it with vitamin E oil for about a minute or two because it's better to get the blood pumping in your ear first. Also, if you ever watched the video, this also counts as lubricant. I also have a different type of lubricant that's more of like a butter type thing, but I like vitamin E oil better. It helps lip better, so yeah. I'm going to take the first plug and put vitamin E oil on this one too, because that is also what you have to do. You have to put it on the plug or the tunnel that you're going to put in. Hopefully, I won't need a taper, but if it is hard at all, then I'm just going to use one just to be safe. Okay, and it went right in. This is what it looks like. I already almost lost one of the o-rings from these and they're clear so they're going to be really hard to find. I'm just going to use my black o-rings. I got the o-rings on. I also wanted to let you know that these plugs are kind of long so if you're trying to get a larger heavier size then just know that. They almost look like tunnels because the middle of it is kind of hollow so i can't wait till i get to a bigger size and you can see that that is the end of this video i'll link everything i used in the description you can check out my other ear stretching videos and my ear stretching playlist i'll link that in the description and don't forget to like and subscribe down below and i'll see you guys next time Bye.